All right, let's get to programming our EV3. So first thing you want to do, launch your EV3 Mindstorm software. Once you've got that done, let's go ahead to that top left corner and do a new project or add project. We're just going to test these motors one at a time, but for the sake of making sure we don't lose information, let's go ahead to the file menu and save your project right off the bat. This also makes it easier to find your files on the EV3. We'll call this Creeper Testing. Let's do the same thing. So we've named the project. Let's go ahead and name the pro program. We'll just double click where it says program. We're going to call this motor tests. So let's see. Let's go down to your move tank block in the action section. We're just going to test our motors. Let's see if we can get them to spin in a circle. So we'll set one motor to 15. We'll set the other motor to negative 15. So with one motor going in one direction, the other motor going in the opposite direction, he should turn around in a circle. If your EV3 is already connected, you should just be able to click download and run the bottom right. Let's go ahead and see if that works. So that looked good. All right, now let's, uh, let's go ahead and add the medium motor to that. We know the B and C feet motors are working. And let's set this one to negative 11. Yeah, let's go ahead and download and run this. So it's interesting, with the EDU version of this, you might find that your head, when you first try and get the head to move, it sticks for a second. Uh, with the retail version, the motor is directly connected to the head. There's no gearing involved, so it works a little bit more smoothly. So let's change this. Since we only see that problem with the head when it first starts trying to move, once it starts moving, it's good. Let's go ahead down to your, to your flow control section and let's choose the loop block. We're going to put this right at the end and then I'm going to click and drag over the two move blocks before it, make sure they're highlighted, and I'm going to drag those into my loop block. Let go. And since loop block is just going to do this over and over and over, instead of having these move one rotation each time, I'm just going to tell them to stay on. This way they're just, there's no starting or stopping of them. This loop block goes over and over and over, and it just tells it to continue doing it until I stop the program either through the software here or on the actual EV3 brick. So go ahead and try this. Download and run. Now hopefully what should be happening is the head should be moving in one direction and the body should be moving in the opposite direction. If that's not the case, then you can either change the B and C wires on your, on your EV3 so they're reversed, or we can just set this instead of to negative 11, we'll set that to positive 11 and download and run. Let's see how that works. So hopefully what's going on now is if your head was moving in the same direction of your body as in the previous section, now your head should be moving in the opposite direction. If everything was working fine the first time around, now it should be working the opposite. And hopefully that kind of gives you a basic idea as to how these motors are working and how they're connected. So that's just a really basic run through. We've checked, we know that the headgear system works. We know that the body and feet uh, respond properly. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's move on to getting our, our creeper to actually move around a little bit more instead of just in circles.